If you have passed the downtown area lately, you would see the major changes occurring at the Nassau Cruise Port. When completed, it will prove to be one of the great waterfronts of the world. Today, the Prime Minister and Minister of Works, along with other dignitaries and developers, took a tour of this great project. Right down below, this is where the taxi operators will be. And just to your left over here, we have the Junkanoo Museum. And so again, that's a, a prominent feature of our culture. And again, these four million plus people can't help but see our Junkanoo right there in our history and our culture, our music and our vibe and everything else. The amphitheater, we're gonna be driving down there and you see it coming out of the ground. And uh, Minister Sears, do you play this one? You see it? Okay, well, we'll get you on stage. According to Nassau Cruise Port CEO, Mike Mora, the anticipated grand opening is slated for the last weekend in May. We had expected to be finished you know, long before uh, the last weekend of May of 2023, um, but the pandemic has had its uh, fun with us. And, uh, but the good news is, you know, you guys uh, will be talking about what a fantastic party happened uh, at the downtown waterfront come the last weekend of May. Minister of Works and Utilities, Alfred Sears, speaks to what this project would mean for the economy. Well, first of all, it is a signature uh, project and it will make the jurisdiction much more competitive. It also uh, will provide a stimulus uh, to Bay Street and also open up myriads of opportunity uh, for the orange economy and the Bahamas. The project has already positively impacted the economy through providing employment for Bahamians. Maura explains. Uh, today there's about 300 people, of which half are Bahamian uh, and half would be foreign workers that are here. Uh, our general contractor is a company called Enca, uh, but Bahamian uh, contracting firms and labor has been involved in this project since the day we took buildings down. Um, so Bahamians have been actively employed on the project. He also spoke to what it means to the Bahamas economy at large. It about regularly is the fact that while you do, you've seen almost $300 million of investment going into this project right in front of you, all that belongs to you as Bahamians. That doesn't belong to Nassau Cruise Port. It doesn't belong to Global Port Holdings. That belongs to Bahamians because this is a national asset and these, these are improvements to a national asset. Both Sears and Mora gave a glimpse of the vision when everything is completed. It will give uh, the visitors who will be coming in greater numbers uh, um, um, an immersive experience in Bahamian uh, culture. So our branding is all about, you know, the reimagined Nassau. It's not about Nassau Cruise Port, it's about the reimagined Nassau, the new destination. So that even if you've been six times in the last five years, you got to come back again because it's something new. And it's going to, our branding and promotion is all about lifting, a rising tide lifts all boats. And that's what has to happen.